Hey guys, today we're going to work on biconditional statements, which is the conjunction of a conditional and its converse. So all it means is that both the conditional statement has to be true and its converse also has to be true. Or the way that I like to say it in just regular words is that it can go both forward and backwards and be true either way. So it will look like this where there is an arrow on both ends because it could go be read both forward or backwards and it would be true. And I don't mean literally backwards. I mean that you take the conclusion and read it first and the hypothesis and read it second and it can still make sense. Biconditional statements are true when both, and it must be both, the conditional and converse are true. Okay, this says, given the biconditional statement below, write both the conditional and converse and determine the truth value of the biconditional. Explain why or why not. Okay, so this would have been easier if we wrote a biconditional first, but okay. So in a biconditional, what happens is they take a conditional statement that looks like this. It would say if two angles are supplementary, and then this would be a way, and then would say then, the sum of their measures is 180 degrees, so that's familiar, right? If two angles are supplementary, then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. And then they take the if off, and they take the then off, and they replace it with if and only if. So that's what happens. In other words, this is our hypothesis, and this is our conclusion. Same thing. They just took the then out and put in an if and only if, and they took the if off of the front. So to write a conditional, you're going to start off with if, like always. Then you're going to write all of the yellow. Two angles are supplementary. And it still will have the then right after that. And then you're going to write everything in the pink. Then the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. All right, the converse of that, we do the pink first and then the yellow. So you still start off with if, but then you write the pink, the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. Instead of writing the sum of their measures, we typically want to state the nouns before pronouns. So in this case, there is meaning two angles. So if the sum of two angle measures is 180, Then they, now we use the pronoun, then they are supplementary. Okay, the truth value. We need to look at both of them. Remember, both the conditional and the converse has to both be true for the biconditional to be true. So the conditional says, if two angles are supplementary, then the sum of their measures is 180. Well, that's the definition of supplementary, so this one is true. Then the converse says, if the sum of two angles measures measure is 180, then they are supplementary. That is also true. So the biconditional will, of course, be true because both of its pieces are true. Okay, so then this one... I wear my snow boots is my hypothesis, and then it snows is the conclusion. So my conditional always starts with if, 
then you write the yellow I wear my if I wear my snow boots then it snows the converse the pink will go where the yellow is and the yellow will go where the pink is so if it snows then I wear my snow boots all right so let's talk about these truth values if I wear my snow boots then it snows so that means that you're basically playing God and whenever you put on some snow boots it's gonna snow which we wear snow boots here in Houston and it doesn't make it snow so this is false the next one is if it snows then I wear my snow boots that one would be true this makes more sense if you live further up north but if it snows you wear snow boots because if you wear tennis shoes they will get soaking wet from all of the snow so you wear snow boots or boots that are made for walking in the snow so that your feet don't get soaking wet because snow melts turns to water and it gets your feet all wet so I remember to be a biconditional these both had to be true and so the value of the biconditional is false because the, con the conditional is false or because both are not true. All right, so this one uses math for its hypothesis and conclusion. We're still going to write it in words, not necessarily the X and the 25 and the 5, but we're still going to write if X squared equals 25, then X equals 5. And then we're going to flip-flop it. So if X equals 5, then X squared equals 25. All right, now we got to talk about these truth values. So the first one says, if x squared equals 25, then x is 5. And I know that most of you think that that's true. The problem is, is it's not. There is another number that when you square it would also give you 25. And you have to think about the other side of the number line. So this one is false because negative 5 squared gives you a positive 25 because that would be negative 5 times negative 5 which gives you positive 25 so the conditional is false and then your counter example would of course be x could equal negative 5 where's that other false oh this one is it could not snow it could be sunny let's put that um okay converse for this one if x equals 5 then x squared equals 25 that's true because if we already know that x is 5 then when you square it it of course does equal 25 but the biconditional is false again because both are not true basically because x could be negative 5 as well. All right, here is your hypothesis. Here is your conclusion. The conditional is if I will get 10% off, that doesn't even make sense. Let's say if I get 10% off. Will doesn't make sense. If I get 10% off, then I spent at least $75. Okay, so you're supposed to assume in this that there's a sale going on 
And if you spend $75 or more, you get 10% off. So it says, if I get 10% off, then I spent at least $25, $75, which in the case of that sale, that would be true. Then we write it in reverse. If I spent at least $25, Seventy-five. Why do I keep saying it's twenty-five? Then I will get ten percent off. Again, in regards to the same sale, it's a rule that was made by that sale. So if I spend at least seventy-five dollars, then I will get ten percent off. That is also true, which means that the buy conditional is true because they are both true. And that's the end of your notes.